this with the calculation or on a calculator on this first one just to show the calculation of interest a few different ways this time uh, and then we won't do this again I don't think so we're gonna say that if we had interest for a year of 885 because remember every time we say a percentage it usually means a year and then we're gonna say that there are uh, 12 months in a year divided by 12 and we're having it outstanding for 90 days uh, 30 60 90 three months so times three and that'll give us this same number so we can also calculate this way or with ratios the ratio being either the number of days 90 uh, compared to the number of days in a year rounded 360 would give us 0.25 or we take the number of months 3 30 60 90 three months divided by 12 also 0.25 that being a ratio, the ratio giving us the decimal times the interest which is 885 gives us that same 221 so just be aware multiple multiple ways to see that uh, calculation okay so there's our our number next one we're going to go to here on 93 60 day 9% no giving <laughs> note giving C company a time extension on uh, past it should be past due accounts receivable so same thing C company we're going to scroll back over C company is here owes us 2150 didn't pay us therefore we're going to move it from a non-interest bearing uh, receivable account to an interest bearing receivable account from accounts receivable in other words to notes receivable so it's in accounts receivable it's in here we're going to take it out of there put it into a notes receivable the date then is going to be i believe nine three gonna go with that i think that's right so we're going to say accounts receivable has a debit balance so we're going to make it go down doing the opposite thing to it a credit so i'm going to copy right click and copy accounts receivable put that on the bottom of date in 09 right click and paste one two three the amount then will be if we take a look at subsidiary ledger 2150 so i'm going to put that on the credit side make it a negative for a credit 2150. we're going to have a debit for the same amount for the debit side i'm going to use that with a formula negative of that number taking that number and flipping the sign it's going to go into the accounts so the notes receivable which we're going to break out into their own account for each note receivable for each customer in our trial balance so this customer was c company right there so in s8 right clicking copy one asset for another asset one asset going down one asset going up one asset being a non-interest bearing account one asset being an interest bearing account one being a receivable typically for a shorter time period the other typically for a longer then I'm gonna right click and paste one two three we're gonna indent this accounts receivable go into the home tab alignment increase the indenting then record this out here's the notes receivable in the, in the journal entry here it is on the trial balance we're gonna be in U uh, U8 and say equals point to that 2150 bringing the zero balance up by 2150 to 2150 accounts receivable is here on the journal entry we're going to post it here on the trial balance in cell u6 double clicking going to the end plus pointing to that 